AZ Overland here. I wanted to do a quick video on my water setup when I go camping. I had a number of questions about what I use, maybe from people watching the previous camping videos that I put up. What I typically use is the Scepter. Uh, it's a five gallon or 20 liter can, so it's just over five gallons. And when I go on a short camping trip, I usually take one. If it's a longer trip, uh, I'll take two of them. I'll give you a few reasons why I like this particular can as opposed to some of the other ones that are out there. Firstly, this is a military issue can. They're extremely light. Uh, secondly, they are very, very durable. It's, if I press on the sides here, I can barely even squeeze in. So this plastic that's on here is extremely tough. Uh, if it's dropped, it's not gonna dent, it's not gonna puncture. It's BPA free, so food grade. It's got a number of openings. It's got a little breather right here. So when you're pouring water out, you just loosen that up and it gets the air uh, in and out so the water comes out smoothly. It's got two openings. So if you're filling smaller containers, you have a three quarter inch opening here. Uh, they seal beautifully. I have not yet to get a leak on one of these cans. So they, they thread right in there. If I'm doing a fill up, say for a fill up of the actual can going on a camping trip, I'll take the three and a half inch top off and fill it right up. Another reason why I like this huge opening is when I'm done camping, I dump it out into the trees when I get home, if I have extra water, or once I rinse the can out after camping, I can pretty much shove my whole arm in here. So I can wipe the inside down and I can also dry it. So drying is a pain in the butt. Having the ability to put your whole arm in here, now it depends on what time of the day it is. Sometimes I can get my whole arm in, like right now, <laughs> and sometimes I can't. So if your arm is too big to get in there, Maybe your child or significant other has a smaller arm, they can get right in there. Um, you wanna make sure it's completely dry before you seal it up and store it before your next trip. So I did hear somebody say that, and I have to agree until I figured this out, this little top can be an annoyance. It has a tendency to always, if you're pouring like this, it'll always get in the way of the container you're trying to fill. However, this little cap has an indent in it. So if you find that this cap is getting in the way, you can actually press it on the breather. It'll hold it, sometimes it pops off, but you can keep it there and it'll stay out of the way for a while. You can even put your finger there. Sometimes it'll pop off like that. But either way, another good little feature that a lot of people don't know about. So when dispensing water out of these cans, there's a number of ways to do this. You don't have to have anything special. However, I did get a tip from another YouTuber. His name is Grizzly Path, and I'll give him a shout out down below. I put some water in this one. So I saw in one of his videos, he had this. So I reached out to him and asked him what it was. And he gave me the link. So I purchased one. And these are meant for five gallon water jugs, like you see in the offices, uh, but it is rechargeable. So right now it's charged up and it actually holds a charge for quite a long time. You put the tube in here, has a little filter on it, drop it in and it'll press fit on that little three quarter inch opening like that. Now you do have to do a little bit of a modification and I'll show you exactly what I did, um, but it stays on there and you keep it on there for the whole trip. I'll give you an idea of how it can fill the water up. Just press the button on top. It'll suck the water from the bottom. So it'll fill it up pretty quickly. It dispenses it nice and smooth when you're done. Just press the button and it stops. And that's it. No leaks, no drips. This was about $12 or so on Amazon. Absolutely worth the price compared to my makeshift uh, spout that I made. And you can make spouts for these too. They work well. Uh, for 12 bucks, I think this was more than, more than worth the, the, uh, the cost. Let me tell you about the modification I had to do to make that fit. This is one that's not modified. So if I take two containers, if I'm spending uh, more than uh, two days out camping, I will use this one for bathing, showering, things like that. So I don't have this one modified. I'll use it separately. On a non-modified scepter water tank, if you put it on, it will fit. However, you'll see right here, if you, get right, if you look right here, it'll start to press up. 
and it come out. So I used this one time, see how it goes like that? So it becomes a little bit of annoyance. You can still use it. I wanna show you what I did to modify the opening that will accept the water dispenser and not pop out. So basically, you have to ream out the inside of this just a little bit, and then I uh, rough it up. And then on the inside, if you look at the water dispenser, this round piece will actually fit directly inside that. So I rough that up too. The problem was, is a little too big, and you have a shiny metal or shiny plastic surface, so it wants to pop out. So I used a little uh, ream bit, and I just put it on my drill. And then I just, I took the cap off. The cap comes right off. I'll show you real fast. If you press this right here, the cap just twists off. And then you can just pop it off like that. So basically I just took the drill and I reamed out the inside a little bit. And then I took a wire brush and I used it to just rough the inside of the opening out. And then I took a wire brush, the round one, and I roughed this part out right here as well. So when you put this in, it fits directly in there and it won't pop out. It stays nice and secure. So anyway, that's how I got that to work from my water dispenser. So another thing that I like about the, the Scepter water tank is the shape of it. It's pretty slim. Some of the water jugs that you see are, are fatter. Um, these happen to fit perfectly right behind the seat of the Forerunner. So I put one behind each seat if I'm taking two. I want to tell you one more trick that I've also learned. Um, so I keep one jug for drinking water, and if it's a longer trip, I keep the second jug uh, for like showering or things or washing uh, dishes. So for my drinking water, I actually use a filter. This is an RV filter. And what I did was I put these, these quick connects on it on each side. So right before I leave for camping, I'll actually clip this right onto the hose bib and then put a hose on this side and then I'll fill this up. This filter will filter out chlorine, bad taste, sediment, heavy metals, things like that. Um, and it doesn't have to be this particular brand. They make a lot of these RV water filters which will work and give yourself some nice clean water for the trip. One of the things that I don't like about this can is when you receive it, there's going to be a noticeable plastic smell on the inside. So there are ways to mitigate that or some people say they, they've eliminated that. And the way you can do that is, and I've actually done this and it's definitely mitigated it and, and it's been not a problem at all for me. But if you're very sensitive, just be aware of that. You can do a uh, vinegar mixture or you can do a baking soda and vinegar mixture or something similar. You can wash it out, let it soak for a few days and then thoroughly dry it. And you should not have a problem with the plastic anymore. Like I said, it all depends on your sensitivity levels. For me, I can taste it just a little bit, but I also run it through the filter that I was talking about earlier, and I have no problem when I'm camping to enjoy the water.